My name is David Brown. I have a blog called The Trinity Troodon and several dinosaur related videos already up on YouTube. Uh, with this video, I'm going to talk a little about toy uh, pachycephalosaurs. Now, here's the oldest I have in my collection. It's uh, from the definitely dinosaurs line from the 1980s. Uh, it was really the best dinosaur toy line, and you can see the good points of the line here. It's got kind of an old school shape, still nice detailing. It's a good size, and everything's articulated, though uh, with this guy... The two arms are one piece, so you can only move them together. Uh, the tail can also move a little bit. Now, uh, the one thing that's maybe not so good is the head. Now, they have this neck lined up with the base of the skull, which is actually right for this dinosaur. Uh, but the way they did the teeth... I'm not sure how much it will be visible here. Uh, they show kind of jagged points for the teeth, uh, which actually isn't too far off for this dinosaur. Uh, they have teeth uh, really similar to the actual troodontid dinosaurs, enough that for a while they were classified is the same thing when we had more limited remains of both species. Uh, but they don't have a beak that would have been at the very tip of a Pachycephalosaurus sn snout. It was actually something they shared with Ceratopsians. And another thing about this dinosaur, it's easy to criticize having them upright like this, Though this really is one dinosaur where it makes sense. Sure, we know now we were even suspecting even then that they would have normally been like this, uh, but they had reasons to be like this. If they were looking around for predators, since they were relatively small, if uh, they were feeding on high branches, or if they were in a display or confrontation with another pachycephalosaur, this makes sense just as how they would size each other up. They get to the full height. Uh, having this big bony head in itself would have made them look taller. And thus, uh, if they're going to their maximum height, it would make it clear just how thick and high their head is. And that could have prevented uh, actually coming to the literal blows, which we haven't necessarily quite worked out. Uh, one thing we do know is that there would have been more stuff on the skull. Uh, this actually kind of shows how it might have been. It's a little more even than you'd see on an actual skull, but then if there was some kind of horn material on the skull, that would have filled things out. Uh, we really don't know. Once in a while, people have proposed that it wasn't even this shape, but something like a horn. Now, we can't easily rule that out, uh, but the odds are that it wasn't too far uh, from the shape of the actual skull. And here's a couple more. Uh, this is from a bag of dinosaurs I previously featured on, in a video. Uh, this is one I had from a museum gift shop. Now, these, uh, they do still look old school, especially this one for the posture. Uh, but they do have good points. Uh, with this, it actually has a pretty tapered head. That is, it's uh, narrow at the snout, and it flares back here. It's got a 
bumps on the head, which is plausible since, as I've said, we know it wasn't just the smooth bone we have. And it's in uh, what makes sense as a headbutting pose. From this, they could actually ram like this, or they could just bring the head down like uh, one of the martial artists breaking bricks with their head. Uh, in this, you have a little more of the classic pose, and uh, they kind of changed up the head in a way that doesn't quite fit what we know. They made it so it's steep on one side, more gently sloped on the other. Uh, this is closer to how the actual skull would have looked like. And here's what I really uh, did both the blog post and this video about. It's maybe the strangest looking dinosaur I have in my collections. Certainly for uh, something of this size, it's up there. And if you've seen my other videos, especially on Pachasaurs, you'll know that saying something. And uh, the funny thing is, some of the things that are weird about it are actually what make the most sense. Now, uh, what you can see is that it's got this bald head. It almost makes it look like a monk uh, or Friar Tuck from the Robin Hood movies and stories and you can see incidentally uh, that there is kind of a discontinuity between the dome of the head and the rest of the snout that's really our best indication that there was some extra stuff on top of the dome that would have filled it out uh, so that's an error but it's an air that shows something about the animal. And there's also this uh, front snout. It looks like they were trying to do the beak. If anything, they made it look more prominent than it would have on the real animal. Uh, this, I've seen a video from your dinosaurs are wrong covering this same thing. Uh, he had concluded uh, that it didn't have the beak. I'd say you can kind of see a beaky shape on this one, uh, but it's certainly more visible here. And uh, something else that's a bit different is the posture. It is still in a tripodal stance, uh, but it's sloped. It's not completely upright. And uh, they have the neck at a slope to the head, which it probably could have held, though, as we've seen with this one, it would actually have been a little more natural for the head to be closer to a right angle to the neck, just to take the blows if they were going to charge or swing for a head butt. And uh, the thing about this one I uh, got this around 2012 or 2013. I was actually in the fairground of a state fair, and I saw this. I'm sure there would have been other dinosaurs from the same distributor or manufacturer. But I don't remember what those might have been. I have seen ones like this on sale online. A lot of the time they get advertised as a 1980s toys. It's certainly possible some version of this exists in the 1980s, but my guess is most of the ones in circulation are no older than this one is. Again, it's about 10 years old now, uh, which should sound like a lot, though, uh, compared to uh, the stuff like this, actually from the 80s, this is still pretty new. And that uh, really covers 
the Pachycephalus are here. Here's uh, one more close-up, just so you can see how unusual it is. And also another one uh, close-up with the definitely dinosaurs toy. Uh, you can see from here that we, even with how they're shown as toys, have progressed a bit. Uh, but you still do have this as kind of the classic style that's a baseline and in some ways uh this one here is closest to what we think it would have been now the tail's still on the ground as it could have been some of the time uh but the head is in a fair compromise between this and a completely horizontal orientation uh, so I'm going to sign out for now. I have not necessarily decided if I'm going to post this immediately or a little later with some other stuff I'm going to get to, but it will be out there shortly. Uh, so good for now it's good night to everyone. And uh, definitely check out some of the things that are out there on this animal. It's a very interesting dinosaur.